Hey, welcome to How to Fix a Workshop. My name is Josh, and in this video, I'm gonna describe the steps that my wife Lori and I took to refinish this antique dresser that we purchased on Facebook Marketplace. Now this dresser we picked up about an hour away from our home, and it cost us $40. And it's antique, like I said, and while we were in town, we checked out this local craft brewery that had an awesome pizza selection. So getting started with the dresser, we removed the top with about 12 flathead screws. We washed everything down really good. And just look at that water. It is disgusting. This is how dirty this thing was. It was sitting inside of an old barn for at least a couple of years. The people who we bought it from said it had been sitting there since they purchased the property. So we started sanding down the top. We knew we wanted to stain the top and paint the rest. There's a shot of that water again. So Lori started with a Kills Primer, and that covered everything so that the paint would stick to it. We didn't really just sand anything on the drawers or the body of the dresser. And we sanded the top. This was probably the hardest but most enjoyable part, sanding and refinishing the top. And we used this chalk paint from Krylon that we picked up from Lowe's, and it took about two coats to cover everything. Here's a picture of everything that we used on this project, and we'll leave links below. Lots of painting. Here's a finished pick of that beautiful top. It was stained with Minwax Early American. We just wiped everything on with a rag. Really brought out the character of the wood grain. Here's a picture of the drawer pulls that we added. These were picked up from a local Habitat Restore for $4.50 for the six. I had to grind down those little bumps that you can see on the edges so that they would fit flush on the drawers. Here's another shot of those drawer pulls. I added a few blocks inside to reduce the dresser from racking side to side. It was a little bit, a little bit shaky. And we had to make a couple minor repairs. We had to glue this shim to the bottom of one of the drawers because it had split and was breaking loose. Then Lori applied three coats of Minwax Polyacrylic to the top for protection. and covered the chalk paint with Kills Clear Sealing Wax that we picked up from Walmart. Can you describe this place? <laughs> For our audience? It's self-explanatory. <laughs> our audience of 13. Oh, that hurts. And we also distressed everything with a little bit of sandpaper and then reapplied that Kills Wax. And the last step was to add some drawer stops. These prevent the drawers from being pushed in too far. The dresser was missing about three or four of these. Picked up a set of 12 of these drawer stops on Amazon for about $9, and I'll leave a link to those below. So here's some final shots of the dresser. Now it took us about two hours round trip to pick this dresser up from a couple towns away. We spent about six hours refinishing the project. We picked it up for $40, we purchased those drawer pulls for $4.50 and those drawer stops were $8.99. So all together in materials and the price of the dresser was $53.49. We had all of the other supplies like the paint and the stains on hand. And then we listed it for $220 on Marketplace and Lori's dad ended up uh, reaching out to us and saying that they wanted to purchase it. So we sold it to, to them and they actually overpaid by a little bit. They gave us $250 for it, which was really nice to have that extra income to put towards the next project. And we happily drove this down to meet them about four hours away from us and got to visit with them, which was a nice bonus. If you like this project, please give us a thumbs up and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.